you know, hope thankfully we did our part. And, you know, I thought the team really played well today. There's so many outstanding uh, plays and players and preparation we had this week. Just you can really put everybody in and talk about just about everybody in there. But, uh, you know, long touchdown drives, um, you know, turnovers, competitive plays in the kicking game. Um, you know, just kind of big plays after big plays from so many different people. Uh, I was really proud of the way the team prepared, the way, comp way they competed. I, I actually think Bill Belichick was happy. I, I kind of think that at one moment there, Mike, huh. I think he was starting to smile. I, I can't believe my eyes. But you know what? The thousandth game in Patriots franchise history, a resounding win, 45-7 to over a very good Browns team. But it just shows you. This is the Bill Belichick formula. Take a month or so. Figure out what you got. Tony Dungy was saying this last night. You figure out what you got over the first month, and then you start to figure out what you got. And then you start getting pretty good. You color within the lines of what you can and can't do. And, and here they are. Uh, they're going to threaten the Bills to win the division. And they're going to be a very dangerous team to face if and when they make it to January, Mike. Well, you, you look at, at the, the playoffs, how they're set up right now. Again, with the extra seven teams, you got so many teams, including now New England, with just four losses that are fighting for those last few spots, or it could be even better spots, depending on how the rest of the season goes. Here's the deal with New England. You know what's been good all year for them? Their defense. Their defense has been playing really, really well. And how much that can help you when you have a rookie quarterback. You can have the defense at least keep you in games while your rookie quarterback is growing. And Mac Jones is growing at a really incredible rate. Three touchdown passes, first time, for a rookie uh, Patriot since Drew Bledsoe in 93, I believe, since with three or more touchdowns in a game rookie year. He is getting better with his decisions. Uh, the offense is getting better. They're getting a bit of a running game as well. And the defense has been consistently good throughout the year. Uh, so much so that you don't really talk about it because they've just been really good. What we do is we keep looking at the offensive side and, and Mac Jones and seeing how this rookie is going to do under Bill Belichick. We know what he had in Tom Brady as a young quarterback and then all the way through. What will he do with this rookie quarterback? And it is trending so well in the right direction. But I, again, I'll give kudos to that consistent defense that's been going on for them all year as Mac Jones has been getting better and better. Yeah, I mean, this is the formula they want. Good defense, good running game. And a quarterback who basically runs that offense like a robot. So smooth and, and, and nothing spectacular. Right. Doesn't have the high-end skill set. I think Justin Fields is a better overall player than Mac Jones by far, frankly, from ceiling standpoint. But Mac Jones is exactly what that offense needed to run the way they wanted to run. And here we are. The Patriots making their move. 142.1 passer rating for Mac Jones yesterday. Only 198 passing yards. But you know what? Didn't need more than that. Had 100 yards from Ramondre Stevenson, rookie running back on 20 carries and a couple of touchdowns. And you throw in what the defense did. Just a complete throttling. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.